I'm Anil Kumar. We are trying to understand what fractions are. In this video, we will see what happens to a fraction when the denominator is increased. The question here is, consider the fraction 3 over 5. What happens when the denominator is increased? Well, let's try to analyze. So let's say this, this box represents one whole. Let me make uh, two of them here. One this one and then another one here. Okay. Let's say both are almost the same size. So when we have a fraction which is 3 over 5, what are we trying to do? So the bottom part 5, we need to divide whole into 5 equal parts. So we need to divide whole in 5 equal parts, right? So let's do it. So let's divide into 5 equal parts. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so we have one part here, two parts, three parts, and then we have 4 and 5. Let us say these are 5 equal parts. Let me do it for this one also, right? So we have one part, two parts, three parts, four, and five. So what we have here is four equal parts, five equal parts. So the whole has been divided to one, two, three, four, five equal parts, right? So when we divide the whole into five equal parts, so we get the denominator represented in our diagram. Now we say three out of five. So what do three out of five means? Three out of five means select three. So we'll select three. One, Let's say, let me shade like this, two and three. So that much is three-fifth, three out of five. So that is what it is. Now the question is, what happens when the denominator is increased? So now let me again make this, uh, make this fraction. And in this fraction, what will I do is I will increase the denominator. So I'll redraw the same rectangle, right? However, this time we are increasing the denominator. Increasing denominator means that number is not 5, but higher, right? It could be 6, 7, 8, 9, or whatever, right? So what I will do here is make it 10, make it 10, make it 10, okay. So if I make this number 10, then I have to divide this whole into 10 equal parts. What I will do is I will do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to make 10, I'm going to divide like this. So we got 10 equal parts, right? And if I write the same numerator, which is 3, then 3 means we have to select 3 parts out of all, right? So select 3 parts. Correct? So we'll select three parts. What do we get? We get one part, two part, and three parts. Do you see that? Now the question is, what happens when the denominator is increased? You can clearly see that if denominator is increased, then the fraction decreases three out of ten because you are getting smaller and smaller pieces. When you increase the denominator, the pieces or the share becomes smaller. Divide whole in five equal parts. Divide means sharing, right? So whatever you share becomes smaller and smaller. But you get only three out of those, so you get three smaller pieces, right? So what happens really is, so it results into uh, smaller pieces, right? So it's smaller amount. Let me write like this. It results into smaller amount. Reason is parts when the denominator is higher, when you increase the denominator, right? So number of parts you divide into becomes more or the share decreases, right? So each part is smaller, right? Because each part is smaller. Do you get an idea, right? So that is what happens when you divide numerator into more number of parts. Do you get an idea, right? So what happens when the denominator is increased?
clearly if the denominator is increased you get a smaller number right so you can write here that 3 over 10 is less than 5 3 over 5 right 3 over 5 right because these are much smaller pieces than the other one right or you could also write uh, 3 over 5 is greater than 3 over 10 either way you could write 3 over 5 is greater than 3 over 10 correct so that is what happens when the denominator is increased now a question for you uh, let me write down the fractions and you need to check for yourselves is it true so what I will do is here this is example this is 3 out of 5 I like you to divide similar rectangle and shade I'll increase this denominator to let us say not to 10 let's smaller value let us say 7 if I make it 3 over 7 then can you see whether the share really decreases or not so that is an exercise for you right so you know whenever the denominator is increased the value of the share which is represented by fraction decreases since each part becomes smaller and smaller i hope that helps thank you and all the best